for you key can remove iPhone passwords and Apple IDs. Links will be in the description down below. Hey, what is up guys? I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple released iOS 13.3, a very anticipated version of iOS. Now, this version of iOS brings quite a bit of improvements, but I wanted to get on here to sort of share the release notes with you guys. Now, I do have a full review on the software. Links will be in the description for that. Nothing has really changed since my initial review when I reviewed 13.3, but if you wanna catch that, links below as I mentioned. But I also wanted to share a word of advice for you to hold off on updating and clicking update on iOS 13.3 as of yet. Please wait at least 24 to 48 hours. Now there's two reasons why I say this. Number one, we've seen in the past when new software updates get released, We've seen some devices actually freeze, get stuck on Apple logos, bricked, and you may want to hold off to see what happens. Let me test the software over the next 24 to 48 hours and I can give you some feedback. Make sure you subscribe here to the channel so you can get more details on that. And the number two reason is because I'll be doing a thorough battery test. I may start doing that test tonight. I already have a video on iOS 13.2.3 where I test the battery thoroughly. I'm gonna be comparing that test versus today's test with 13.3. And besides 13.3, Apple today also released watchOS 6.1.1, which is also available as well as tvOS 13.3. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the release notes and go over some of the details of the software. So right now you can update to iOS 13.3 by heading over to general software updates and you should see iOS 13.3 populate. Again, worldwide, everyone can update if you wish to do so. But as I mentioned, I highly recommend waiting at least 24 to 48 hours to see how the software goes over. Now for developers and public beta testers, you can head on over to profiles and remove the beta profile so you can see the latest build populate on your device. If you're in the beta testing program and you want to update, you will see the update. It will populate at approximately 600 megabytes depending on the beta that you're coming from. But if not, then you'll see about four gigs of storage uh, being replaced. And this is not taking away four gigs from your iPhone. This is overriding the entire OS as always. Now, the latest software brings improvements and changes to screen time, minor improvements to the Apple News applications with the Apple News Plus subscription services well minor tweakings to the stock application and there's quite a bit of improvements and bug fixes here but no mention of battery improvements we'll have to test that thoroughly as i mentioned be sure to stay tuned to the channel for that now there's a few fixes here that did affect me specifically the screenshots taking on the iphone sometimes when you edit them will not populate or actually show as edited properly there's improvements all across the board different characters not showing up properly in the messages application fixes to exchange the new changes to screen time communication limits are available here the new method to saving clips on your iphone is back or not new but it is back now you can save as a new clip or as the original clip as edited you also see improvements to the audio sharing feature with transfer to home pod etc minor ui tweaking and a new toggle for control center here where you can manage the way siri announces messages within an hour off for the day or on just minor tweakings to the software but overall the number one concern for everyone here is a battery and of course i'll be testing that here in this channel so be sure to subscribe just a quick update ios 13.3 it is available right now watch os 6.1.1 tvos 13.3 and ipad os 13.3 as well hope you guys have a great day stay tuned for more updates and i'll see you on the next one peace